All right, ladies and gents, welcome to Low Elo Legends. In the orange, we have Glorified Suburban Alcoholic. <laughs> and he's also playing on orange strain. Hold on, can we make him blue? Let's make him blue because it's easier to see. Uh, hilarious username. He is 750 Elo. Bit of vital time at the start, but we're in no rush here. We're in no rush. Oh, yeah, I need to change my scenes. Here you go. You should be able to see things here. Uh, because of the most recent patch, the Hidden Cup 3 casting overlay is broken. So uh, you're going to have to deal with this for our information. Uh, is Red even... Okay, Red also had some pretty extreme idle time because Red is behind by a villager. But we have Red uh, playing as the Japanese in the red. Hopefully that casting overlay will get fixed. It does break every single time there's a new patch. Uh, and Red is starting with four houses. All right, guys. So here's the deal. We all know, low elo legends, players have their own little build orders. There was the tri house, now we have the quad house. In theory, in theory, as red uh, kills more than one sheep at the same time, um, you could argue that you can do this with Japanese because Japanese have cheaper lumber camps and, and uh, lumber camps. So he still will have the wood to make a lumber camp and also a mill after building four houses. Now, you can say that, you can justify it, but still, this villager has not been collecting any resources. Ooh, and... Oh, why are we chopping the end of the wood? Why the end of the wood? You're the only reason I even have a Twitch account. It's not like a... It's not like a... A sub. Or a sandwich where you start at the end. What are you doing? Just... Just chop it here. Okay, so he wants to chop the edge of the wood line. Um... So I do know that with the new patch... Um... Sorry, I'm hungry, and now I'm thinking about sandwiches. I do know with the new patch, there's this weird little stutter that players get every now and then. Uh, and that's very possible that when we're spectating, we will get that stutter as well. So, I can't do anything about that. Uh, I imagine there's going to be a hotfix, but just so you guys know, there's going to be some stuttering. Um, Glorified Suburban Alcoholic actually has a very solid start here, guys. I mean, he did have the idle time, but now he's bringing in his Rhino. Pretty good lore, and he has four on wood right now. And tell me he's going to dock. Oh, please tell me he watches my videos. Please. Okay, drop off food, please. You don't have food to create the next vill. Okay, he's strong. It's fine. He's strong. Okay, I'm hoping instead of milling, he will dock. That is a really good spot to mill. Wait a second. Wait a second. To the people who read the patch notes for the new patch, did it not say that... Huntables would not be next to mill. It would not be next to berries. I read that out loud. And I'm looking at both sides and they both have their zebras next to the berries. But maybe that's not consistent across all maps. Oh, and he's making a dock. Okay, it's map specific. I know it was for more than one map, but I didn't, can't recall which maps. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of... Um, I'm not really a fan of that change. If you're going to do it, make it consistent, but now it's just going to confuse people, possibly. But whatever, we'll see how it goes. I wasn't a fan of Auto Scout, and here we are, so... Oh god, Villager's going to die. Ah, uh, whoa! Okay. So he's a functional alcoholic, this guy. He, he actually is able to go throughout life calculating his borderlers. Oh yeah, we're just going to make a mill, because we can't... Oh wait, he realized it! I was about to call the guy out on it, and he realized that he wouldn't have the wood for a fishing ship if he built the mill. Cool. What's Red up to? Uh, Red? Making a dock? Okay. Um, docking in the north. Great thing to do on this map. Great thing to do as Japanese. Also bringing in the next, uh, not boar, but rhino. Not the best lore I've ever seen, but we have gone from sub glorified suburban alcoholic being ahead in villagers... To now, Red being head in villagers. Red does really like to chop the straggler trees. And... <sighs> I'm... I'm stronger than this. It's not gonna bother me. I'm stronger than this. It's not gonna bother me. It's fine. Never mind the fact... That he has cheap Japanese lumber camps, which only cost 50 wood for efficient chopping. Never mind that fact. Just forget about that aspect of it. When he has 200 wood, just forget about it. Not important. I'm stronger. I'm, I, I can deal with this. Okay, here comes glorified suburban alcoholic. I 
think this is auto scout. That's auto scout. Okay. Too drunk to be able to focus on scouting and eco at the same time, so let's just auto scout, and auto scout's actually doing a decent job. Okay. This is a close game, and for 700 ELO, I'm rather impressed. Anybody else? One's in chat, if you're impressed for 750 ELO players. I mean, the straggler tree chopping is really triggering me. I really want to scream. <laughs> but it... This is a solid build. Like, just the fact that they docked and made fishing ships is good. Okay, now it's probably going to be a mill here. I feel like this mill is really bad because villagers are going to walk the whole... Oh, oh, oh. It's all... Okay, suddenly it's starting to look very, very 750 ELO. <laughs> um, okay. Whatever. He forgot to create villagers or go feudal. He could go feudal if he wants. Okay, now blue is going out here. Yeah, it's, it's basically they ran out of the food underneath the TC, so they don't know what to do now. Oh, wait a second. So he made a mining camp on gold that is like all purpose. So we could also use the stone. This is definitely laggy. Yes, it is definitely laggy. All right, going to take the hunt and then eventually the berries. Fishing ship still coming out. Both on the way to feud late. Close game. So story time. Um, <laughs> and please, I hope this doesn't come off as like super judgmental. Okay, this is just meant to be a fun story. So I was playing in a team game last night. I uh, just queued up in a team game and it was 4v4 arena. And my pocket player, his name was like Thuddius Thunderson or something. And I'd never heard of him. I didn't know his rating, but he picked goths as pocket on arena. And then he had a 20 minute castle time. So this guy was like, oh my god, is it the real T90? He was really happy to play with me, which is so sweet. It's so cool when I, I get to play with people and they just get so excited about it because they watch my videos. <laughs> but this dude clicked auto scout at like the fifth minute. And his his auto scout was running all up in my business, in my eco. And I didn't have the heart to say anything to him. But do you ever have a guy who just sends a scout underneath your TC? He actually stole... The auto scout stole one of my sheep. And then the sheep was like in the... Because I was sheep scouting with it. It was like in the corner of the map. So I waited to like the 30th minute. And I'm like, hey, uh, can I have my sheep? And he's like, what? He had no clue. It was so funny. But that's like... That... Um, I thought of that simply because the auto scouting from both players right now. So I noticed that there's a big eco lead because Suburban has created fishing ships. So props to him for that. And he actually has the resources to go Castle Age. He's just going to need the buildings. Oh, okay. And, and so does Red. Red is making a barracks. I like how he's making the houses in one little spot. That's nice. Barracks, and then uh, he'll need their, either a market or a stable or an archer range. You know what's really common at low elo? Like at higher elos, if players want to go fast castle, they'll go blacksmith market because they don't have to put as much wood into buildings. At lower elo, you'll see like barracks, blacksmith, archer range, stable market. They, they make a lot more. It wouldn't at all surprise me if Glorified Suburban Alcoholic makes a Barracks, then a Blacksmith, then a Market here. And that's not... You wouldn't need the Barracks in that case, right? Barracks is a Dark Age building. That helps you go Feudal. Um, okay, Red is attacking. We might have First Blood here. The Micro from the Alcoholic, but doink! She's dead. And wow, uh, Red runs away with the Scout. Auto scout still scouting for blue. He couldn't be around to help. He's not even attacking with it. He's now making a blacksmith. Again, 100% going to be a market. Yeah. So he could just go blacksmith market without the barracks. But maybe he feels like he needs the barracks for something. Blue is doing so good, but then the white claws kicked in. <laughs> or whatever he's drinking. And uh, he still has not clicked up to Castle Age with so much food. Archer range is for red. Very little walling for both of them. Okay, red's name means dog? Really? Okay, interesting. I'm still going to call him red because most people don't know that. Hope that's okay. Yeah, red only made one fishing ship. That's the eco difference right now. One fishing ship. And um, he's making skirmishers. 
Is he expecting Mongols to go Mangadai? Okay, here comes Blue with the walls now. Okay, three of these villagers have food in their hands. Hmm. Dave, 46 months. What's up, bro? Dave, can we talk about how... G guys, we need to talk about how Dave is producing more controller-only content than regular content. He he has streamed more consistently playing Age of Empires 2 with the controller and uploaded videos more consistently with Age of Empires 2 controller than he has ever done. <laughs> than he has ever done in years. That's... That's, it's actually fascinating. Thank you. Dash Mitty, thank you for two. I feel like if you do that, though, it's like, if you lose, you think, well, I should lose. But if you win, you feel like a god, right? I could see that. Okay, Red is all about the trash units. He is all about the trash units, man. Skirmishers, no upgrades. Spears, no upgrades. And uh, not the strongest eco either. Only two fishing ships, which is really his biggest mistake. Now, Blue is able to get the walls down. And it looks like he is, because he's auto-scouted it. Um, he could build a castle and make Mangadai. And because Red doesn't have upgrades on these units, Mangadai would still be fine. But, you know, it still could be awkward. He's making a stable now. They're called trash units because they only cost wood and uh, food. Oh, there's a hole! No! Wait. Sorry, I just knocked my mic over. Um, Red doesn't realize there's a hole. Never mind. Red realizes there's a hole. Blue's gonna panic. Blue make- Oh, no, not the town bell! You're winning! You're winning! It's just skirmishers. They don't have any upgrades. And the funny thing is... Red runs away because the bell is a bad thing for him. <laughs> he's like... He's like... Oh no, not the bell. I know what that means. I need to run. When he could have run right in here. Blue uh, quickly builds a house here with five villagers. Panic time. Uh, and now he's going to make knight. Okay, wait. He's not going to make knights just yet. First, he's going to get bloodlines. Then he's going to get husbandry. And then he's going to make a knight. So give us about like three, four minutes. He'll have army. Okay, now he's making another stable. Um... See, I thought he was going to build a castle for Mangadai, but maybe... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Red is building a castle with one villager. His army has come back to attack Blue's auto scout. There's the stutter that has come in with the most recent patch. Hey, T90, love the stream. When are we going to have the T90 versus Neely match? Ba, ba, ba. What? Okay, hold on a second. So Red went from making one dock and two fishing ships to making three docks and four fishing ships. The ratio is not getting any better here. I mean, if he actually makes fishing ships, I'll be okay with it. Okay, he's making a house wall, which does not wall in his lumberjacks over here. Fascinating stuff. Now building a second TC. Okay, so tips for red, just invest into eco. You have the military side down. That's something Blue doesn't really have. Uh, but invest into eco. So use your wood and just queue up fishing ships. Okay, he's doing it now. Had he done this more in Dark Age, it would have given him probably the lead, to be honest. Uh, Blue, honestly, I, I'd say is pretty solid here. Uh, he's creating vills. He's making a castle. He's making knights. He has upgrades on the knights. I mean, if Blue attacks with these knights, he probably wins the game right now because bloodlines and armor and attack. Six knights beat six spearmen. I just don't know if blue is going to have the confidence to go forward. Ah, that's where you need that liquid courage, eh? The liquid courage. This is where it helps being a glorified suburban alcoholic. What if he wasn't a glorified suburban alcoholic until quarantine? Okay, red scout just attacked blue. I, you can't make that up. I didn't show it. But I'm pretty certain that Blue's scout ran past Red's on auto scout. And Red's is on stand grounds. And Red actually attacked Blue's scout as he ran past. Oh god. Okay. You know Blue's being a nerd. He saw one vill, he attacked it. Saw another vill, attacked it. 
Red's probably gonna ring the bell here. He's like, where's the bell again? Do I ring it? What do I do? Okay, the knights are raiding. This is good work. Oh, there's the bell. Okay. Expected that one. But Blue realizes that if he has upgrades on knights, he can still be fighting this. I don't know. Well, I mean, it, truthfully, he could fight here as well. His castle's now up at home. He did queue up Vils before he went into the attack. I like that. Like, that would be a good tip for you guys. Like, even if you can't look back at your eco while you're fighting, just queue up a bunch of Vils before you fight. Now it's probably going to be idle for a while. But nice attack. Um, you, know, you really should be diversifying with ponds. Instead of building three docks in this pond, get a dock over here. I always say 8 to 12 is the number of fishing ships you should want from one dock on the map like this. Um... Okay, Blue's gonna farm a little bit. Create extra villagers. A large reason that Blue has a score lead is because he auto-scouted. Keep that in mind. So he has like 90% of the map scouted, where Red has maybe 40%. But Red needs to get pikemen, and he needs to get upgrades. I mean, thankfully he's Japanese spears, so they do attack faster. Blue doesn't really- that's a lot of spears. Yeah, Blue doesn't really seem to care, though. What could be really good for Blue is to just switch right into Mangadai, and then, you know, archers counter the spears. But transitions are super tough. Red tried to house wall him! What a beast! <laughs> he tried twice! Oh, that's amazing. I love that. I love that. There's so many people that relate to that. They're like, I I have the thought. I just I just can't. Oh, he trapped him! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Alright, so he didn't get the house trap, but he got the spear trap. But yeah, there's so many people who feel like they have, like, the mentality. But they, they just can't execute. Alright. Pikeman upgrade now on the way for red. Uh, still is making more fishing ships, thus catching up with the economy. Blue is making Mangadai now, a lot of them, and making another TC. It's called Ambitious, but rubbish. <laughs> I played my first ever online DE game after not playing any AoE for months. I was being destroyed, but I believe you said a good counterattack is most effective. I defended the front lines while sending troops around and surprised him inside his base, ended up winning, thanks. T90. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, see, sometimes, if you're being attacked by their whole army, and you just send a raid to their base, they're gonna freak out. At the very least, send that whole army back to their base. That is a great tip. Uh, I think many people could learn from. Alright, so he's going to boom on three TCs. Congrats on that. George, if you want to rotate gates, you just have to set the... Uh, go to your hotkeys, and there's a... There's a uh, hotkey for that. Most people set it on the scroll wheel. Thank you, Curly Blues, for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Sir Smokes Weed a lot. Oh, God. Weed smoking, alcoholics, what else do we need on this stream? He says, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Oh, how I wish T90 would rig me in. That was, that was beautiful. Thank you. Oh, a dock over here for red. See, I'm telling you, if he just queues up fishing ships. He forgot about Vils. Like, he's going ham on the pikes. Oh, he's going too crazy on pikes. Blue also got Gillnet, so his fishing is more efficient. Um, but it's 60 population for both! 60 population for both players. This is so close. Man, is that auto scout ever gonna freaking die? <laughs> and the thing is, this is not the first time that Red has sent all of his forces back to deal with it. It's still auto scouting. Wait, wait for it. Oh, he's gonna die here. F's in chat. Pay respects. Oh! 1 HP, boys and girls! 1 HP! Let's go! He doesn't really need to scout this, this area. I don't know why auto scout's still moving. Okay. Wow, I really like what glorified suburban alcoholic is doing with his eco. All three TCs making villagers. He's also transitioning into farms. Uh, normally, the food income you get from fish gives you the food income for vills to then send to wood to then make farms for food income. Does that make sense? You don't want to go only on fishing. Um, Red Red just stopped creating vills. 
over the last couple moments. And it's like, it seems like he wants heavy fish focus, but he didn't think about it at the proper time. And so I do think this is going to hurt him. A lot of good eco upgrades coming in as well for blue and red's going to imp? What? 17 on food, he's on his way to imp. Okay, blue, again, this is an auto scout, right? So he's probably not going to see this and really react to it. Um, sorry about the stutter, that's the new patch for you. I mean, if you think about it, red will queue up five to ten more fishing ships here. That's a lot of good food income he doesn't have to pay attention to. If he goes skirms, pikes, and trebs, what does blue do against that if blue's not an imp? Well, blue blue could go Maganel, so he could go Siege, but that's tough. Like, if you always forget about making Maganels in Castle Age, type a 1 in chat. It's so common where players just forget Maganels exist. At least at the proper time. Wow, this is next level here. Glorified suburban alcoholic making a dock and then a town center. Okay. Really, you should just cancel a lot of these vills and go up to him! Oh, the scout died. Rest in peace. Could you elaborate on, on the proper time for Maganels? Um, T90 respects in chat. I mean, this is going to make me seem so, like, such a jerk. But the proper time for Maganels is when you need them. <laughs> like, it depends, right? Um,. I would say if you can't use, so in this case, if you can't use Mangadai to snipe the pikes, because there's also skirmishers, that's when you need Siege. Or if you like are in a situation where someone has a lot of ranged units and you can't make a counter in time, that's when you need Siege. Or in general, if you need a big swing, like let's say you're behind because they have a lot of military, a few Siege units can take out high numbers of military. But... It all depends on how you use them. And oh, guys, blue. He's drunk. He doesn't even have fletching. He's going to try and fight with Mangadai without fletching. They have four range without fletching. Oh, no. Chad Shipman, I will stay safe. You too. Thank you very much. Go up to Imp. Okay, he will go up to Imp soon. Well, you know what? He could raid. He could raid. He could still kill villagers. Oh, wait. Okay, he's getting fletching and armor now. Okay, so he seems to know. Uh Oh, right to the wood line. And my question to Red is, why did you go Imperial? What did you gain from Imp here? You put 1,000 uh, food and 800 gold into Imp. I haven't seen a single Imperial Age upgrade. I haven't seen a single Imperial Age unit. He also does not have fletching, and he's working on getting upgrades. So, whereas with blue, because he he's fully boomed, blue can actually gain something from going to the Imperial Age. As a kid, I hated Mongols and thought Mangadai were terrible. I only used them in groups of five and never got fletching. Yeah, that might explain why they're bad. That might have explained it. This is the second time in this game that the alcoholic is running around. And red is... Red is finished. Red is finished. He's attacking with Vils. <laughs> just passing, just passing, just passing, just passing, just passing. Chop wood, Red. What do you... Is this him tilting? Did he give up? Chop wood. Where do you find these people? These are the people you play when you're using your controller, Dave. I mean, the micro from blue is decent, considering he doesn't have bodkin. Um, but, you know, I would maybe, like, run away for a bit, get a few upgrades, and then go back into the fight. You're an all-star, get your game on. Go play hey now. You're a rock star, get the show on. Get yeah, paid. they just take a moment, compose yourself, get upgrades, and build a few castles. Like, here, Onager would just be devastating. But it's only you only really need Onager if Red makes a lot more skirms with upgrades. And to be honest, Red is. Like, the big thing about skirms are, is the armor. He's, he's at least getting the armor. I assume he's going to get the attack after that. Oh, box formation. That's how you know he's good. 
Okay, box formation. Blue, what's the plan here, buddy? Whoa, he wants a forward castle. This is this is gonna be so bad for blue, I think. Wait, will red see that? <gasps> what? 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 Calculated. But these skirms are going to kill a lead samurai, really, Red? What do samurai counter here? I think <clears throat> some people just I have to remember that some people just pick they, they just pick a strat and hope it works. They don't like think it through. They don't think, okay, I see this, I should counter. No, no, no. They're just like, I want trash units and samurai because I'm a huge Spirit of the Wall fan. I think they look really good. He's probably playing the Spirit of the Wall like, theme song as he's playing the whole game. <laughs> it's like, da 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 da. I can't. He's like, I can do this. Okay, I like the Siege Workshop. That tells me he's going to do something with it. He has 14 Mangadai queued up in one castle. Still no Bodkin arrow. <laughs> oh, come on, use the blacksmith. Don't throw this. You have 50 more villagers. 50 more eco. I mean, he even made fish traps back here. What is she doing? That's a bug, by the way. She has 10 food. And she's had 10 food from a shorefish probably for like 20 minutes, and I didn't notice. She doesn't show up as idle, but she's just running back and forth because for whatever reason in this dumb game, you can't... Like, this happens. It happens on berries a lot as well. Thanks, DE. Look! She's gonna be there all game. If we go back, I bet you she was there... She was probably placed on the dock around the time that he built it. She's an alcoholic. <laughs> Okay, now we have Drill coming in. But he doesn't have any siege yet. <laughs> and then what's this? Cataparuto, you don't have any trebs yet! People! You're thinking too far ahead. There's thinking two steps ahead, and then there's thinking like ten steps ahead. You're thinking ten steps ahead. Come on. He got a lead samurai. He doesn't have any samurai. He's getting Cataparuto. He doesn't have any trebs. Blue did get bloodlines, yes, he did. And he is now... Oh, nope, never mind, I lied. Did he cancel Bodkin? I thought it showed that he was getting Bodkin over there. Oh, wait, I never mind, I'm kidding. Samurai makes sense, the Samurai are here. Okay, Blue comes to go deal with them. Does he have Ballistics? No, I don't think he does. Does he even have a University? He does not. Okay, so no ballistics. He's missing a lot of these shots. Um, he is getting thumb ring now, which is a big upgrade to get. But guys, the Mangadai cannot fight these skirms. Oh god! Oh god! No! You're fighting up the hill and you don't have upgrades. No! Okay, this is where he needs to fall back and make siege. He got Drill, which gives Mongols faster siege. Okay, there's University. Uh, you should always build your University university on the hill. Uh, because the the thinner air helps the kids at the school think properly. That I read that in a book once. Um, okay, Ballistics. Okay, and then Chemistry. Um, yeah, you can't... Don't even laugh at that. That's just science. I would donate money if that would make red build trebs. Well, here you go. <clears throat> Two dollar. <laughs> Two dollar. Okay, here come the trebs. Now, are we going to protect the trebuchets with our army? No, nope, we're not. Because we have Katsapruto and they pack up really fast with Japanese. So we don't need to protect these trebs. We're just going to toss the trebs away. Yep. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> okay. This is so... I love this. This is so low elo. This is gonna be... This is for going to YouTube for sure. Because it has like... They have enough knowledge... Where you have red fishing, blue fish... Blue actually had a really good boom. But now you're seeing how tough it is for low elo players to finish off games. Because they can't like... There's too much they have to do mentally. And... They can't... 
they can't handle the mental gymnastics. I think Blue just remembered, oh yeah, I want to make Siege. So he's getting capped Ram and he's going to make Rams. Um, I would suggest building a castle on this hill to protect it. I assume at this point he's completely forgotten about the blacksmith. At least, like, Red doesn't have Bracer or Chemistry or Ballistics, but he does have 8 Pierce Armor against Mangadai, which do 10 attacks. That's still pretty sick. Okay. What do I always say about Trebs, guys? You guys already know. Don't trickle trap. If you wait till you have three or four traps and then deploy them, it's going to surprise the enemy so they can't take out the trap. So here comes Blue. What's he do? He takes out the trap. Okay. Don't want to say I told you so, <laughs> but I kind of told you so. Now, if Red had four traps, Blue loses all of his army and Blue loses that castle. Big problem for Red is the lack of, of economy right now. And I think... Oh my god! No! What are you? I need a minute. Oh, God. Okay. So, I'm trying to remember he probably doesn't know, okay? So, hopefully a lot of people will learn from this. Now, this does kind of bring up the fact that fish traps are somewhat unrealistic. But the way it works in Age of Empires is wherever you place the fish trap, you will get food, a bit like a farm. And then the fishing ship needs to drop off the food at the dock. So, essentially what Red has done is he spaced it out where, the other, where fish used to be. Like, this would be more realistic. But... He, can, he should place them right next to the dock. Alright, maybe that ruins his immersion. Anyways, let's keep going. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. He did realize he was having gold problems. He really doesn't have a lot of villagers on uh, gold or stone right now. Just a lot of wood. Okay, the last time this happened, you sent in one treb and the treb died. What are we going to do this time? I mean, I think Blue, with Seedram, should roll him. But... Oh, God. Oh, this, the Mangadai still can't fight the Skirms, though. The Mangadai still can't fight the Skirms. This is so fascinating. He's going to lose so many Mangadai here. And the Samurai could take out the Rams. I don't know who's winning this. Wait, okay. Another castle for Blue. Blue is sending his Mangadai this direction. There's a lot of villagers he can snipe. But wait a second. He's going to need to deal with the Treb now. If Blue panics, I could see him clicking hit. No, 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 no. Protect the Treb. Protect the Treb. Don't do this. Protect the Treb. Oh, my. Well, at least Blue needs to decide. Do I take out the, the Samurai or do I take out the Treb? Okay, so he took out that castle. Skirmishers could fight underneath the castle. I mean, you shouldn't, but they can. And Blue just lost a lot of gold villagers. He lost a castle. And guys, Red is in this game. He's probably going to make one more trebuchet, and it'll be round three. Blue is getting iron casting now. Look at his resources. Look at Blue's resources for a second, and try not to weep. 10,000 food and 8,000 gold. Blue just feels like he, he probably is thinking, I've done everything the Mongols can do, and it's not working. You know? Okay, so now he's going to make... Is he going to go Hussars? Normally, I would suggest putting all of your gold into Siege and Mangadai and Imp with, uh, with Mongols. However, in this case, I would say going... Cavalier wouldn't be the worst. I wouldn't suggest it. Oh god, he doesn't have murder holes! No murder holes! Is he gonna remember murder holes as a thing, or is that castle gonna go down? <laughs> Someone said he's a fake low elo legend player because he didn't get murder holes. <laughs> no, he doesn't have murder holes! 
So the samurai can just take out the castle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Samurai dude attack insanely fast. Micro, micro, it's down. What? What's crazy about this, though, is that Red should still lose this game. He's had two archer ranges producing skirms all game. Three barracks, one castle. Now he's going to add three stables. Red should still lose this. Like, Hussar and Mangadai, despite lacking upgrades, should shred what Red is making currently. Hussar is a fantastic move to counter the skirms. How are the fish traps over here? Okay, no fish traps. Here, can't look at it without wanting to scream. Okay. And he does have full upgrades on the Hussars. I just don't know why he's running away. <sighs> but yeah, making making Hussars in this situation is the play. That and uh, Siege Ram. I think he was only on Capt Ram, correct? Yeah, and I mean, he's using the food and everything. He has like 70 Hussars queued up right now. So the problem with going full trash is, um, it's kind of complicated to be honest. But if you go Halb, Halb is countered by the Mangadai. If you go Skirm, Skirm is countered by the Hussar. At the same time, you could argue Skirm counters Mangadai and Halb counters Hussar. So it depends on how the fight is taken. And I don't have faith in either player's micro. I think something that Red is doing is something that's fairly common. I think he clicks the unit he attacks instead of patrolling. He'll just like... Okay, good micro. Okay. That's a lot of Hussars, though. But it's also Japanese Halbs and Samurai. Blue's not fighting with his Mangadai. I would still consider that a very good fight for Blue. All Blue needs to do is have the Mangadai behind next time. Okay, he snipes another trap. But he took out, what, half the skirmishers? Imagine what he would have done if the Mangadai were there. Yeah, this see, this is what I mean. It's so hard to control trash units against fast mobile units. There's not a lot Japanese can do against Mongols when Mongols are fully boomed. And Red, stop losing the trebuchets! Stop it! It hurts. No relics collected for either player. Blue making a push. Is Blue going to have Siege to back this up? Great and get... Oh, oh my... I can't. The man hates Trebs. What? Alright. The Skirm's going down. This, this should be where Blue should just swoop in with a few Siege Rams and win the game. Uh, however, he's very focused on his queuing. He has more queued than red, and I think this will end the game. Should be GG here. I think red's going to have to give it up. Yep, there's definitely stutters here, thanks to E for the most recent stutter patch. Oh yeah, Mongols, some of the best Siege in the game. Let's just use our Mangadai to attack the castle. Let's send a message. <laughs> Alright, so give it a few minutes. And then the castle will go down. Uh, Red's still not resigning. He's just now going to make Siege. But yeah, Siege wouldn't work anyways. So his units are just getting chewed up by Mangadai. Not fully upgraded Mangadai. But, uh, wait, did he end up getting Bracer? It looks like he did. Bracer, he got Thumbring, and he even got Parthian? Am I seeing that correctly? Or, or is that chemistry he got? I don't know, but either way, Blue has so much. It looks like he has Bracer and no chemistry. Still fine. I mean, he, he got most of the upgrades. And now Seedram. There you go. Yeah, I didn't realize he got Bracer. Bracer makes a big difference. So does Parthian, so does Thumbring. The thing about Mangadai is you have to get all the upgrades, and you have to get some in the stable, some in the range, some in the blacksmith, some in the, the university, and it just takes a lot of resources and a lot of time. Um, did he queue up 22? <laughs> he queued up 22 rams. 
<laughs> I love that. That's so low Elo Legend, right? To like not do something when you should do it. But to make up for that fact, you do way more of what you should have been doing later on. Like we saw that from Red. He made two fishing ships in Dark Age. That's pretty much you could argue that that lost him the game and oh god, these fish traps. But um but if he would have created more fishing ships in Dark Age, he would have had more resources in Feudal and Castle and uh, he would have been more even with Blue. Cuz he had the right idea to fish this pond, but he just didn't do it in the proper time. Hoof. Okay. What a game. I mean, I have to say that um, Blue was a very good macro and defensive player. He did have a hole in the wall, but after that, he did wall properly, which is very, very difficult for like this elo. And uh, a lot of players would have just kept losing Mangadai to the skirmishers. He adapted, and he made Hussars. And then, um, despite losing the castles, still ended up being pretty good. Nice Lumber Camp, by the way, Red. That was 750 elo. Um... 230... Wait, people said she's still at it. Wait, who? Who is? Oh, the woman! <laughs> the woman! She was there the entire game! That's such a weird bug. And I guess at this elo, they don't realize those things. And again, she wouldn't show up as idle. Thanks, DE. Okay. That's like Lorena debating on if she wants to come over and see me tonight. She's like, hmm... Ah, one hand he's really cute. On the other hand, he's really annoying. On one hand, I'm really... Uh, okay. Um, 235 kills. 165 units lost. Uh, I imagine Blue had more of every resource he did. He had more food, more wood, more stone, more gold. Salutes in chat for glorified suburban alcoholic. We had his funny name. We had Red's hilarious fish traps. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I mean, I know that Tim, from New Orleans. like, Tim had some, some, uh, weird things in the past in the Hidden Cup 3 qualifier, but it wasn't that bad. Alright, GG.